Speak a new language so the world will be a new world. Clearly, Rumi did not live with SEO. Thanks to search engine optimization, if you were to speak a new language, you would not be found. There are no algorithms that would detect your fresh mana and all of the rigging and traffic flow of the web world would not know you and would not know your creation. There is a utility to SEO. It considers the terms that people use in their Google searches and then creates the content based on those searches. So in that sense, it is very functional because it's offering you, a searcher, material that is responding directly to what you said you wanted. So I do understand the function behind that. But here is the dilemma that it creates for truly inspired work. And that is this, that the results of a search engine are one thing and they're sourced in one particular way. But the output of the breath of life that would come up and out of a creator, it's altogether different. There is no algorithm for that. Can you see how it's just a very different kind of beast? How do, how do you track that kind of work? Work that has a pulse, work that seeds itself as like an irrepressible compulsion in the belly and in the heart of the creator, of the human vessel that's carrying that thing. That's been the dilemma that I've lived with for all these years. So now, as I fully stand in right relationship with this Patreon platform, I say to you, as a creator and provider of inspired content that is freshly sourced in a way that doesn't lend itself to SEO or to algorithms, because I am speaking a new language. For that reason, and because I am that kind of a creator, I'm in need of the kind of support that independent voices need to be free of censorship. I need to be free of puppet strings. If this good work is to come forward from me, a bit about the work I'm talking about. There are some interesting and surprising overlaps between sensitivity and sovereignty, autism and anarchy. There are some very unlikely conclusions that I have come to, that I am living in, and I am burning up to tell you about it and to share it with you. So it is now contained and being incubated and developed under the name of Urge to Diverge. And it is a telling story of neurodivergence, of personal liberation, of deprogramming the mind. And reassembling and remembering all of those individuated fragmented parts that got spliced and diced in the mainstream sanitized treatment of a domesticated person you know the human condition essentially which disassociates us it separates and disrupts and, and, and creates division. We're divided between ourselves, like in the form of autoimmune disease. So we fight even our own self. We fight each other. We forget that we are intrinsically connected to nature. In all of these ways, we've just become like Humpty Dumpty. And I've been 
it's safe to say, obsessed with the reassembling of a human. I started with myself. I'm still working on myself, but the more that I am remembered and reassembled, the more that I, I wish to give voice to this necessary process. I report a different kind of news. It's the inside scoop. And I have knowledge of how to navigate these different kinds of landscapes. So this is my SEO to you. This is me trying to put myself on your radar to say, hey, friend, if you have come upon my work and if it has ever been of service to you and if you have felt appreciation for it, then I'm inviting you to another level of relationship with me and my work. I'm inviting you to consider sponsoring and contributing to the continuation of freshly sourced inspired content that is dedicated to the integration of ourselves. Is that of interest to you? If so, then please check out the work and the vision of Defiance House.